this. How about that firewood? We need some more heat in here. Did you see anything out there, Dr. Singh? Anything large, white, and furry? Bill, forget the abominable snowman and shut the door. Ha! This room will be muy caliente in no time. Goodness, I hope the smell of smoke from our fire doesn't frighten the huge snow creature away. Now, Phil, there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of any such creature. We're here to see a much more impressive and real phenomenon, the northern lights. All I see out there is northern dark. Whoa! This window is freezing. Th there's a lot of cold coming into the glass. Uh, no. Actually, there's a lot of heat going out through the glass. Oh, Phil's right. Heat always moves from hotter stuff to colder stuff. Some things, like that thin glass, let the heat move out easily. They're called conductors. But heat moves much more slowly through some other things, like these thick logs. They tend to hold heat in. They're called insulators. I don't get it. <laughs> Neither did Crow, but he learned quickly and in the process built for me the most wonderful creation that I still remember to this very day. Phil fell into a glacier. It was like a big deep freeze. But he was brought back to life to his surprise in the 20th century. So listen as Phil takes us back to wonders of long ago. And weaves a tale of fully Phil and an ice age boy named Crow. We'll be right back. Will you watch my baby? Certainly. Cookie crisp. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Could you speed it up a little bit, Mojo? I'd like to shower sometime today, please. Oh, what's the big rush, Dale? The guys are just spouted. There's plenty of hot water for everyone. It's not as if it's suddenly going. <laughs> Stop. Goodness, that tremor must have affected the source of our geyser. You don't mean... Yes, I'm afraid our trustworthy geyser is busted. Busted? Well, just look at me. I'm covered in soap. What am I supposed to do? Rinse off in the ice-cold river? Hmm? This is an outrage. Well, at least it's just soap you're covered with. I just completed a full-blown mud wallow. Refreshing, but terribly messy, as well you know. You do look pretty filthy, Phil. And you don't exactly smell like a bed of roses, either. Why, if I didn't know better, I'd swear there was a human present. Oh, oh. time to get up. up. <sighs> Everyone up! It's Crow's birthday time! Oh, oh, birthday time is almost here. It comes this time every year. Got no presents, cake or stuff. Happy song is just enough. Happy, happy. Oh! What matter? Crow no like Nandy's birthday song? I'm sure I love it. Just as soon as my ears stop ringing. But my birthday isn't for three days, Nandy. How come you're singing today? Yeah, how come? This is not any birthday coming. This Crow's growing up test birthday. Oh. Growing up test? What's that? To prove Crow ready to grow up, must ride on back of Mammoth for count of ten. Mammoths hate to be ridden. Wow, tough test. How did you pass it, Og? Og never pass growing up test. Why am I not surprised? Og not have to. 
Clancy leadership quality when on, baby. Big muscles, big forehead, big mouth, big... <laughs> Only one way to pass test. Sneak up, jump down, hang on, hope for best. Right, Gog? Gog set record. Stay on for count of 12. Only break six bones. Well, there must be a better way than that. Has anyone ever tried asking a mammoth for a ride? Gog not. Uh-uh. Never. Nope. I think I might be onto something here. Can you fix it, Phil? No, I'm afraid it can't be fixed. Oh, no. I was really looking forward to a nice hot shower. Go! <laughs> Phil, are you okay? Don't ask. I'm filthy dirty, the geyser is broken, I've smacked my knee with this tool, and my generally cheerful nature is deteriorating by the minute. Other than that, I'm uh, having a wonderful day. Hey, Phil, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> how's it going? You want to know how's it going? Did I come at a bad time? Oh, don't take it personally, Crow. The geyser is broken and Phil's feeling pretty low down and dirty. Oh, I'm sorry, Crow. I tell you, I would do anything for a nice hot shower. Anything. Anything? Okay, Phil needs a hot shower, right? So I'll find him one and... Wait till Phil has soap and eyes, then jump on and ride. Not exactly, Gog. I figure if I find Phil a hot shower, he'll repay me by letting me ride on his back. Where Crow gonna find hot shower without Geyser? Well, you know that hot spring halfway up the volcano? If I bring that hot water down the hill, Phil will get his hot shower and I'll get my ride. Crow never gonna ride Mammoth that way. Oh, expert on never riding Mammoth. <laughs> Nandy like Crow's plan. Want to help? Okay. First, we'll need a lot of bamboo. <sighs> what matter with Og? Uh... Crow's growing up test bring up deep, unresolved feeling of inadequacy in Og. That what Gog thought. But Og ready now. Og gonna take growing up test. Og gonna ride Mammoth if it last thing Og do. Og gonna die. turn this geyser stoppage. I wouldn't be at all surprised if it weren't some kind of human conspiracy. Why don't you like the humans, Earl? They really are very nice. <laughs> nice, but a little weird sometimes. One, two, uh, oh yeah, three. Thank Bob. Can you <laughs> offer me, you impudent hooligan? <laughs> Og okay? Could be worse. See? We did it, Nandy. Now let's open her up. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, how is it? Not too hot. What? It's not hot at all. So where'd all the hot go? This is weird. The higher up I get, the warmer the water feels. Oh, and the more tired Nandy get. <gasps> I believe that was our cue, Mutt Rat. Right, boss. Let's go have some lunch. Murray, your brainlessness is preceded only by your stupidity. What I do, what I do? The leader always goes first. That is why he is called the leader. <laughs> I'm confused. The water down there is hardly warm at all. But the water up here in this trough feels a little warmer. And the water way up there at the hot spring is really warm. So water at top hot, water in middle warm, water at bottom. Yeah, but water's losing its heat as it comes down the hill. Somehow the heat is moving out of the water and into the air, I guess. I would not overly concern myself with that if I were yous, since yous are in enough hot water as it is. <laughs> I get it, boss. <laughs> hot water. Gotcha. <laughs> Humor, right? After the repetition, we'll be right back. Ronald, the stove's not working. Then how can we finish my house? We'll use our backup system. Back up. A little more. How's this? Fine. <laughs> it works. I love having a dragon around for emergencies. Call me if you need me. Excuse me, but you have a chicken on your head. Take my camera. I'd like a picture of that. Mama's <laughs> Wacky Muppet Workshop puppets are at McDonald's. Swap their hats. Change their stuff. One with every Muppet Workshop Happy Meal you buy. Can you play my favorite song? It's not polite to sing with your mouth full. <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. His video cam sees everything. Yes, but can he see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's famous. Zoom in on this, Pop. There's swirls of cinnamon and sugar sparkling all over every bite. For an intense taste any kid can see. <laughs> cinnamon Toast Crunch, part of this complete breakfast. That, oh, let me see that box. Hey, Mickey Mania video game stickers free. One set in each specially marked box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What does the ghost wear to a formal party? I don't know. Give up? A boo tie. You watch me trick Fred out of this Cocoa Pebbles. Huh? Not Crunch Rock! Behold my latest creation, Cocoa Rockies, the chocolatiest cereal ever. More chocolatey than my Cocoa Pebbles? Ah! Prove it. Mmm, chocolatey, super, Mundo Pebbles chocolatey. Now, try your stuff. <laughs> Youch! Barney, my Cocoa Pebbles. It's time to rock and roll. How's Cocoa Pebbles cereal? Part of this complete breakfast. How do you make s'mores? Take a Hershey chocolate bar, graham crackers, and a marshmallow, and then you mix it together and you get a s'more. Not like that. Take the two graham crackers, put them on the outsides of the marshmallow and the Hershey bowl. No, that's not it. <laughs> lots of graham crackers, lots of marshmallows, and lots and lots of Hershey bars. No matter how you make s'mores, make sure you make them with a Hershey yeah, bar. Yeah. But you can put them together any way you like. <laughs> when others ask you to do drugs, what do you say to them? No way. I respect my body, man. I'd rather stick anchovies in my ears. I don't want to look and feel like this. Take a chill pill. Next, there's a prehistoric mystery at the Museum of Natural History. There is no ghost. It's a dinosaur. The ABC Saturday special, Crash the Curiosaurus. Sunday, it's an hour of laughs with an uplifting double episode of classic video moments, plus some that have never been seen before on America's Funniest Home Videos, Sunday here on ABC. Oh, 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 oh,